Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again. Welcome to the shop. I've got something I want to show you today in the line of foundry patterns and castings and a vise. So let's take a look at this little vise that I made a few months ago. These are the 3D printed patterns that I used to cast up this aluminum vise. And these were my design, but the patterns were 3D created and printed by my friend in Wisconsin, Ted Sikora. So these are the patterns that would be used in making castings. This is a little vise made of aluminum that I cast up and then machined to give to my grandson Henry. It's a woodworking vise, not a metalworking vise, and I've got it mounted on a bench here. It should be in the corner, but because of the leg, I wasn't really able to do that. But as you can see, just a nice little bench vise for holding wood while you drill or plane or whatever you might do. And it has this little feature of a dog here, which will raise up. Of course, you have to have a dog over here on the bench, and then you could tighten longer work and plane it or saw it or whatever the operation might be. This one is made of aluminum, and I'm wondering if anybody would be interested in one of these, possibly made of cast iron. Hey, Mr. Pete. Well, hello, Clark. Where did you come from? I was right around the corner here. Oh. <laughs> I overheard you said you needed some of these in iron. I'm going to borrow these. I'll be right back. All right, you'll bring them back, oh, though, yeah. won't you? I'll All bring right. them right back.
Well, here they are. Boy, that was fast service. Yeah. Well, it took a couple They're of They're still warm. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they should be a little cool now. But yeah, these uh, these turned out looking really good. Boy, they're heavy out of iron, aren't they? Yeah. This yeah. would make a great project for uh, a home shop machinist and possibly give it to a boy or a grandson. I believe and, so. And it'd be a nice heirloom gift, I yeah. think, wouldn't it? Part I like about it, it's got your logo on oh. it. <laughs> I really like these cast iron castings. Really sturdy, and there's several machining jobs to be done on this, different operations, uh -huh. but it shouldn't be too difficult. No, uh -uh. well, I gotta tell you, while I had them, I went ahead and made some aluminum production patterns off of these. Oh, you did? Yeah, I took it upon myself. I got to thinking about it. You got a, a pretty neat tool here that could be cast, and I wanted to see what you would think about us making up, I don't know, probably 30 to 50 of these and offer them to the public for sale. Absolutely. 50 to 100 sounds more like it. I think they're going to go like hotcakes. Well, we'll give it a shot and we'll see. I got a lot on my plate at this moment, but I think by Christmas we could uh, have a small inventory for sure. Mm -hmm. Discuss it and figure out how much of a price to put on this. We'll see how long, it, how much work's involved to, to produce these. As corny of an actor as I am, I appreciate <laughs> Mr. Pete uh, being here for me on this. This also happens to be my 10,000 subscriber video. Uh, I was going to do something a little different, ran out of time, and I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate my 10,000 subscribers than to include Mr. Pete in it. And that's quite an achievement. Yeah. You get to 10,000. It is. A lot of people are interested in your work. When I first started, making YouTube videos. It was strictly to promote my business, but I've got to admit, it's nice to know I've got that many people interested in my products and what I do. And so I want to thank you again. Like and subscribe to Windy Hill Foundry to see all upcoming projects. Along with Mr. Pete's projects, we're going to have all kinds of interesting stuff coming up in the next six months. So uh, uh, stay tuned and have a good day. And Thank you, and congratulations on your 10,000 subscribers. Thanks, Mr. Pete. Okay, I just got home, and I realized we completely forgot about this vise. Uh, that will also be an option on which style you want. Mr. Pete asked me to remove the lettering. He didn't think anybody was going to want to have his grandson's name on the vise. So I'm going to take that off, but just so you know, there's this style and the one previously shown.